Deer populations really kind of shape the landscape around them. We know that a lot of people love watching wildlife. Deer bring that kind of intrinsic social value. If we're going to be in it to win it, we need everybody. We need the hunters, we need the nature watchers, we need the scientists, and we need to all come together to try to keep healthy deer in Missouri. A lot of families rely on venison as a healthy, lean protein source, and certainly the economic benefits of deer hunting are just astronomical in the state. There's so many businesses that rely on hunting for their livelihoods. That's our goal, healthy deer in Missouri and healthy Missourians, because we depend on that resource and they depend on us. Okay, we got a uh, number who's open. Uh, let's go to number three or number four. Okay. And they should be able to take care of you there. Fantastic. Thank yeah, you, right. sir. Appreciate Thank it. you. This year I'm a station leader and my job is to just help make sure that our team of the greeters, recorders, and cutters have all the supplies and information that they need to successfully take our samples and help keep our hunters happy. Um, we are the greeters and have been pretty busy so far this morning. CWD sampling helps us through Missourians bringing their gear so that we can know where the disease is in the state and how prevalent. We're exhausted for one if it's not too cold, uh, but it's fine today to me, uh, but it's exciting. Yes, yes, let's go. My first there. <laughs> Be in it with my son uh, for the first time to get my first one with him. It was a good experience, so now it's his turn to get one, you know, <laughs> if he ain't scared. So. Yeah, it, was, it was a great experience. He had to redeem himself <laughs> after shaking so bad last year. Yeah. <laughs> and missing that one. As soon as I drop this out, I'll be back out there. <laughs> and I'm working out here today as a recorder. A recorder is the person that takes the information from the hunter, who they are, where the deer was harvested, that is connected to a sticker that has a barcode on it. That barcode also goes on a separate plastic pouch that the tissue sample goes into to be tested back at the laboratory. And also the hunter receives a postcard with that same barcode. So uh, the job of the recorder is to make sure that we have all the pertinent information that links the hunter, where they were, when they were, with the tissue sample that's gonna get tested. But on this weekend, it's all hands on deck. We all get together and uh, cross divisions. We help for this effort of sampling CWD. And uh, so my role today is a cutter. And so my job is to simply open up the neck of the deer to uh, get to the lymph nodes, much as all you know, mammals have lymph nodes. Uh, and I pull those out, I extract them with a scalpel and some forceps and then put them into a bag and we uh, tag it um, with a specific code and that gets sent off for sampling. And then that's how we can, they dissect that and, and test a portion of those lymph nodes and look for the chronic wasting disease. That's kind of the process in a nutshell. We've had some big deer, that kind of keeps it neat. And then just the camaraderie, uh, folks like to talk about the good old days, how people used to check deer in and it's a kind of a feel good time for folks after they bring their deer in, so it's kind of neat in that it's a chance for us to do the best that we can to slow the spread of chronic wasting disease. Um, so in the end, hopefully we can look back 10 or 15 years from now and say this actually did make a difference. That's the best case scenario and worst case scenario is we did all that we could do uh, scientifically to uh, slow the spread of this disease. You kind of meet on the back of, at the back of the truck and that's where the professionals who make this their, it's their calling, meet the people that they do it for. Um, and so at the level of public service, a wonderful opportunity to make a real concrete difference. Yeah, so this is kind of the behind the scenes work that nobody knows what, what's going on. It's not really super glamorous. You know, everybody else is out in the field talking to hunters, um, doing a little bit more exciting work. But this is a really important piece of the process. Um, you know, it's making sure that the right tissue is submitted so that we can ensure the hunter that their test result is valid. Um, it's also doing a little bit of the prep work for the laboratory so that when they get thousands and thousands of samples, they're, they're ready to go. So we're out here at the CWD Processing Center. 
Um, what happens is we have staff and taxidermists and folks all over the state that collect CWD samples for us. They all come centrally to our CWD program. Um, and then we have staff check those samples, make sure it's the right tissue, get them ready for the lab, make a submission, and send them off for testing. What we're doing here is trying to diagnose something at the population level to figure out what part of the population is sick and then to apply the treatment at the population level, so to try to intervene. And what we're really doing is trying to minimize the amount of this disease in our environment while science races forward. So we're trying to hold our finger in the dike and keep the amount of chronic wasting disease prions low on the landscape so that we have time for science to advance and give us better tools. This is a state of Missouri thing and we've got just a ton of people pouring lots of energy into CWD surveillance and management.